hello everyone it's me is yes, welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the color grading and retouching process in photoshop i'm using the photoshop 2021 please do update your photoshop version so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first i'll make copy by pressing ctrl or command j after that uh, i'll do something like a dodge and burn and everything and other steps here uh, the face is not uh, i'll increase the smoothness actually here is unnecessary white color i'll remove that at first going to the spot healing brush tool make the brush size smaller like this and make sure that that is the content you are and normal here and the brush size 20 pixel and here the healing brush tool and everything is good and okay and select once this unnecessary dot will gone and if you notice some dots which is unnecessary please do remove that at first i'll make this one dodge and burn and then i'll make this one smooth from the camera filter so press ctrl j and j to copy one is the shadow another one is highlight so this one is the highlight and this one is shadow okay fine turning off the shadow select the highlight and making it to screen mode and then right press blending options from here you'll find out the underlining layer and when we are working with the highlight you should press alter option button this slider will divide and adjust the light with the face and hit ok that's fine and making it mask from the image options going to the here the apply image and from here hit the ok button so before and after you are getting the highlight over here now time for the shadow going to the blending mode making it multiply which is the opposite of the highlight and right press blending options from here will work with the highlight that means this slider so working with the light when we are taking the shadow we are working with the light actually press alter option button and divide the underlining layer and blending it with the face properly okay fine and then mask it out and then go to the image and apply image in this case make it invert and hit ok so we are getting two we are getting two layer shadow and highlight making those group by pressing ctrl or command g and giving db that means dodge and burn and mask this group actually and then going to the image again apply image uncheck the invert option and hit ok let's see the difference between the before and after okay now selecting these two things and right press convert to smart object that means we will work on this layer actually and now going to the filter and camera filter this is the plugins for the photoshop and if you want to get the download link of the camera 13.0.2 please check out my video description from here i'll do the color correction actually and then making it smooth so this in this one is a similar to the lightroom you can make this one same thing in lightroom as well okay in the basic options i'll make it a little bit cool type and the highlight i'll make it down so exposure a little bit down and from here vibrance i'll make it a little bit down the before and after the the like uh, the vividness uh, which is not really necessary i just reduce that instead of the vividness i'll add some tint over here and here the saturation a little bit up so the before and after okay now here the shadow i'll increase the shadow a little bit and highlight i'll make it down not too much blacks i'll increase the blacks and whites as well so exposure a little bit down and contrast up from here and making it a little bit cool type not too much minus 7 is good for that okay nice and now texture i'll make the texture down and the clarity a little bit down so let's see before and after when we'll make it zoom we'll see the difference between the before and after and from here the detailing options i'll reduce the noise and the color noise as well so adding some sharpness that's fine and now i'll go to the color grading options from shadow highlight and midtone for the color grading you can define with the three colors 
uh, that means shadow colors highlight color and mid-tone color shadow color what color will be defined with the hue and the saturation percentage of the color so adding some percentage and finding the perfect color for these photographs so i think this is the perfect color for photographs you can explore or you know, like uh, experiment with the color this one is totally fun things and it will be like uh, when you are happy to adding some colors in a face you can stop in that point the mid tone i'll make it a little bit uh, like according like golden tone or red type tone is good for this face that's fine and the highlight which color will be you have to define okay i think this one is good nice and the calibration from here you will get the three primary color red green and blue so if you work with the blue primary you'll get the color of the face like this so plus four is good for me and green primary that's good and the hue of the red primary will be like this so you can adjust the color according to those things okay fine so let's see the before the traditional photo and after you are getting this type of photo now i'll go to the basic and adding some saturation and now then going to the color mixture saturation of the red i'll increase luminance i'll increase and the hue of the red will be like this okay that's fine the orange the saturation of the orange will make it down that's good and everything is good let's see before and after and now i'll save these settings and i'll provide you that settings download link that means the example file in my video description so saving and giving the name golden and then hit okay so let's see before and after okay huge difference and going to the filter again and nick collection color effects pro this one is another plugins of the photoshop for adding filters and uh, this type of stuffs so if you want to get the download link of the nick collection please check it out here the message will appear for the smart object so don't worry about that and hit the ok button and then i'm using here the cross processing lots of method or sub method over here which one is perfect for your photography you have to define or choose from here l 0 is good for me and strength 35 is good and hit ok it will take time to load it up and providing you the final output so let's see the before one traditional image and after one you are getting the totally new look and creative look which is really nice and amazing so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and in the next video, I may say I'm signing out today. Stay safe, stay at home. Give me your prayers as well. Bye-bye.